So as you can see here, I'm on my computer. I'm on a Mac, but it should also work on a Windows. I go down and start my Excel. When I get into Excel, I will go in and choose the file I want to open. So here in this case, it's easy for me because I just open it. So in Open Recent, I choose the one called Office Space Management version 3. When I press, the sheet should come up and look like this. So again, the file name is Office Space Management version 3, and it's a newer version. You can see there's XLSX. That's a newer version of Excel. It's not the older one, uh, Office uh, and Excel 97 or 2003 and so on. This is a newer version of Excel. Okay, so let's take a look at the navigation and the way the spreadsheet is laid out. We have up here in the left corner, up by cell number A1 and up to the D4, we have like a small menu up here. And that is meant, as I call it, as a roundabout. It is used for jumping around on my spreadsheet. I could always use the elevator, so I go up and down, or I could use the escalator, as I call it. So go across, I could do that too. So I could use the escalator to go horizontal and vertical. I could use the elevator here up and down. But I could also jump around on the sheet and use these navigation points and everything that has a blue color is a navigation point that will bring you to somewhere else so if I press August it will bring me to August if I want to go back I can either press August because you can see it has a blue color or I can press months and then when I do that it goes back again to my little navigation window I want to go to December and here you can press either December or months but like I said, every time you press a blue colored text or an icon that normally doesn't belong on a spreadsheet, it will bring you somewhere. So that's the navigation part of it. Okay, so as I said, is that up here in the left corner, we have the roundabout or the menu buttons up here, the ones we use to jump to the different months. Then what has been made room for is the tracking or management of 20 office spaces over here. You can see from space number one and then down to space number 10. But if we go further down, you can see there's from 11 to 20. The names perhaps doesn't fit with the names that you are using in the office, but they can always be corrected by just clicking here and correct them. That could be like uh, UN office period, and let's just say 102. So if I have more of these, then just highlight here and say UN office period and then 103. Then what we have is that this is divided up in months. And then every month is divided up in weeks. And every week is divided up in a day. So let's go in and take a look at, for instance, March the 7th. So the way I'll do it about it was that I will go up here and say March. I'll jump to March. I will find March the 7th. And you can see here that should be a Monday. It's correct. It's a Monday. It's the 7th. And down here for each single office or cubicle, there is a space on top of it. There's space on, underneath it. And then there is the booking cells where we can mention in here how many of these days are occupied in that week. And I'll show you an example how that's done. Let me just mention also that when we change or modify the space names over here, these will go again, or these will be corrected on all worksheets. And then you have a row here or a column here called comments and these cells here with the color in under the D these will also be updated on the different worksheets so let's say here I have corrected so you can see UN 0102 then over here I could say there is no computer for instance so no computer if I then go to March 
and I go down to, let's say, week number 10, because there's more space down there, then I'll go down to week number 10. We can see here the names are being updated on each single space, cubicle or office, and then the comments field is also brought down to the week's worksheets. So you can see here on this office space, we have no computers and so on. To go back again, we just press return. As I said before, you can do it either via a blue colored or icons that normally doesn't belong on a spreadsheet. These are used as navigation. So when I press return, we are back again to the roundabout. I go over to March and I can start doing my booking of these different office spaces here. Who has them? When do they have them in what months, what week and what day? And I'll show you an example of that. Okay, let's take it an example of how I would go about it if I should use this sheet. Let's say I wanted to book people for these two rooms we have just corrected the name in. I want to put some people in there, so and in March, because we are in March. So I'll just go up here and press March, or I could take the escalate and go over to March. Then we have the two rooms here or cubicles. And let's say here we have the sevens today, so let's take next week the fourteens. Here we have a Maria Correno coming in, and she will sit in the UNO02 from Monday to Friday. So what I'll do is that just on top of the booking cells, I'll just mention here that that will be Maria Correno. And down here I could use X's or I could use initials. I like initials because then I can mix it a little bit up and I'll show you what I mean. So if I put MC, we can see that is then Maria Carreno has Monday, but she will have it up to Friday. So we can just drag it over and say she has it up to Friday there. So here's her initials. She has from Monday to Friday. So the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, Saturday and Sunday, she's not coming in. Let's say that there are more people that will share that specific office space or cubicle throughout the week, let's say two people. So if I, let's say, go back to my roundabout, let's say we'll go to August. In August, we have the second week in August here, we have two people coming in. Let's take Maria again, and this time it's the UNO203. So we'll place our cursor here just on top of the booking cells here. So here we could say, yeah, this time it would again be Maria Carreno and then a guy by the name Steve Jobs. So Maria will have it Monday. So Maria will have it Monday and Tuesday. And then Steve Jobs will come in just for Wednesday. Maria has the day off that day. And then Maria Corina will come back and come back. Then we could see, yeah, but next week that will be Steve Jobs. Okay, we go over here and say Steve Jobs will come back and take it the whole week. And then just put S, J, and then just drag it over. And if he wants to be, let's say, three weeks, we can just drag it over and say we'll just book the all three weeks the whole way over. So here, go over like this. So, and you can see here is Steve Jobs and his initial the whole way over. He has that specific cubicle for week number 33, 34, and 35. That's the way I would book or manage my cubicles in this sheet. Let's say that the space I have on the main sheet, on the management sheet here, is not enough. But you can see here we have these navigation points, and here is the week number. If I press on 33, it will open a new worksheet for week number 33. And here you can see here is the office spaces. They are not updated. It has to be said they are not crossed off in here automatically. But it is meant for extra space. So let's say that there is something I need to remember on cubicle number Uno 203 on Monday. I can put in here and I could make myself a note. Yeah? 
and then to go back again to the main sheet I could just press return so if I went in again let's say I want to say 34 you will see in here there is no notes in here because they're separated by week so if I go back and say yeah but let me go back to week number 33 again here's my note for that week so it is week based and then you can make notes for each day in that week but this is meant for extra space to make extra notes so again you when you meet these navigation like a blue color here or an icon that doesn't belong on the sheet these are navigation buttons and links and when you press them they take you somewhere else okay let's take a look at how we modify some of the things that we have in here so let's go in again to March here we saw we had Maria Correno she's in here she just called and says she's not coming in so we have now the UN 102 free again so to remove her we can either just highlight the cell here and then simply just press either spacebar or you can highlight all these and then press the right side of the mouse button and then simply say clear contents works the same then let's go in we had something in August so go up in August up here Steve Jobs called say he's not coming so we just click here and just press the delete on your keyboard and then in here if you press delete you can do that or you could go in and say clear so there's different ways of emptying these cells let's say that Steve Jobs says he's not coming he's only coming for a week yeah but then we can just simply take these weeks here and the way I go about it sometimes is I just drag an empty field over them all and that's it I just take an empty field drag it over what I need or I could just have gone in and clicked on the right side and simply cleared the contents and we had some if we go in here further down we have to see if we can find some of these um, these comments we have and here we can see there's a comments here so again click on the right side and say clear contents and that's it and then go back again to my roundabout here so now you should be able to use this spreadsheet to manage all the cubicles and the office spaces in there because we've gone through what the name is on the file then we have the navigation of it everything with blue or something that doesn't belong there that will bring you somewhere we could also use just the elevator or the escalator to get around and then you can manage up to 20 office spaces and cubicles you just have to modify the names here and then you can as we have showed before where you go in and where you can use initials and names and so on to run it so that should be it if you have any questions let me know just drop me an email I hope this will work for you